Through true repentance, we are washed away of our sins through God's endless sea of mercy. As you listen to the following podcast, please meditate on the message spoken by Rev. Father James Cherian. All glory and honor be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and always, and forever. Amen. If prayer is a journey or movement towards God, then repentance is the path we take. We, in our fallen state of sin and darkness, cannot, by our own ability, alone return to God. And Christ teaches us this great reality when we read the Gospel of St. John, chapter 6, verse 44. No one can come to me unless the Father draws him. It is important to bear in mind that God only draws those who are willing and striving to be found by Him. This is because God honors the great gift of human free will, which He Himself has endowed us with. Repentance is a breakthrough in our spiritual lives. This is because repentance is the meeting point, the meeting place of God's will and the will of man. When our human nature comes in encounter with the presence of God, in the experience of true repentance, we are able to receive the great light and consolation that comes from God. This kind of an experience leads us further to a greater surrender to the grace of God. The final destination of repentance is union with God. Repentance can only end in union with God, and it leads us to the covenant of His grace. Repentance is not limited by time, and hence it never has an end. This is the reason why repentance is a way of life for the Orthodox Christian. Repentance is the renewal of our being, granted to us by none other than God Himself. The spiritual labor of repentance and frequent confession leads us to oppose the sin of self-justification, thereby repentance becomes our path to an exaltation by God Himself. For Christ Himself teaches us, whoever humbles himself will be exalted. St. Matthew chapter 23 verse 12. Repentance leads us to a life of illumination because the consciousness of sin and darkness within us pushes us to be receptive to God's divine grace. Our confession makes us real men and women. For when we repent and confess, we confess our reality, the reality of how far we are from the grace of God how marred we are with sin and darkness and how much we are in a need for cleansing. In the words of St. Isaac the Syrian, sin is the darkening of the intellect and hence repentance is the cleansing of the intellect which fills the soul with the light of truth. Let us join St. Isaac of Syria as he prays. At the door of your compassion, O God, I knock. Send me help. Send me consolation. 
to the scattered impulses which are intoxicated with the multitude of the passions and the power of darkness. My God, you can see my sores hidden within me. Stir up contrition in my heart, O Lord. May I receive full awareness of the extent of my sin. O Lord, my soul would be consumed by the bitter pain from them if you allowed me to receive the full awareness of my sins. Assist my feeble strengths on the path to true repentance and may I find relief from the poison of my sins. Amen.